The Natural Resources Wales, NRW, which is like the Welsh equivalent of the English Forestry Commission. They are doing a lot of work up here to delarch. Uh, it's definitely worth popping into the shop at Avan Valley Bike Shed. Uh, have a word with Ben and his team, and they've got some good suggestions for riding, you know, various trails in the area because some of them are diverted. But the suggestion he's given me this morning is great gonna get me 30 or more kilometers and spread over two trails which is Irwell or the wall and White's level today is gonna be pretty wet and muddy so yeah stick around and uh, join the ride A little climb up and do brickworks. We may have some puddles. Oh. 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 <gasps> Dear me, this is getting a bit rough. Oh. Very worn away. Oh. oh. So wet. Oh, pretty loose in the section of that. You know what? I could have put the the larger mud guard on on the front. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're in Abercraggan Avon Forest Park now. I haven't seen that sign for a few years now. Put this first bit in. Oh, quite slippery. I don't think to be aware of when riding in this area are the adders. So I'm always on the lookout. I've ridden past one. Well, I actually stopped and took a photo of it. Put it on the screen now. So, yeah. I might not be in Brechens County, but I'm in Neath and Port Talbot County. I tell you what, views are spectacular, aren't they? Oh. You see, I'm glad I didn't take any more air out of the front wheel. Oh. Quite a big drop there. If you're a beginner, be wary on that. Jockey wheel. I thought I could feel it jamming. We're on Nanta Bar now. Seat post is working lovely. Lovely and smooth, it's just not a fast descent, but it's still enjoyable. And it's quite muddy at the moment due to the rain. Oh, slippery as well, see. All these autumnal colours. September, absolutely sweating it. October will be here and we'll be nice and cool. I've got to wear my favourite base layer. 
and now all I'm wearing is a base layer and I'm still sweating on this muddy tree climb but there's no mud it's all dry rock it's a pretty warm day as I've said a million times and we'll be riding trails that are kind of from the side of that nearest hill over there there is a reason Right, have a good one. Yeah. All the best. That's a lot of natural trails. Here we are. Something about Windy Point that I really like. And uh, although I really enjoyed riding the black one, oh, it's just quite wet here, uh, on the Western Bike event as one of the race sections or stages, as they're called. Did it three times and really enjoyed it. Although it was only the third time I did it during the race, during the event, where the time was counted. This is definitely quite a chunky trail, this one. I like them all, really, in this area. The mud is predominantly like sand based. And then there's a lot of rocks, so it's very involving. Big volume at the front, 2.5 Maxxis Mini and DHF, and the 2.3 DHF on the back, and uh, 130 mil fork, Fox 34, which here is great. Playful. We're going to see what this new section is like on energy. So we will take care. Right, let's go for this. Oh, this is fast. Oh, that's probably. Oh yeah. Okay. Great. Well, for those who like jumping, that's going to be a, a hoot. Oh, pedal, pedal, pedal. You do not want to stop pedaling there. The Clodex out my dog would have been a better choice for today's ride. Face is covered in mud, getting splashed up from that front wheel. With it being a 2.5, it flicks up even more detritus than the uh, 2.3 that used to be on it. Bit of a poor SD card in here now. The other one I've filled up 
and it makes this camera switch off. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. technical drop there this bit be careful this is uh, when you might want to prefer getting off the bike on uh, plus you've got slippy roots just after it bridge thing either I've seen somebody going over there uh, I picked the rest it is Right, let's carry on and we get up onto Goodwood. I mean, 10 years ago I was riding this sort of terrain up here three times a week. We do uh, one day from Khan, like on a Tuesday night after work, do a, a night ride of Tur and then the Thursday after work we come up to Avan and do one of the trails up here and then on the weekend we go up and do a like a bigger one like Boise Valley in mid Wales or Brecon or uh, up at Brechva. All right. Hiya. This is a bit wet. Right, here we go. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Turn a pan or dark side. It's very rough on this section. Don't want your tyres too soft around here. going to be quite a bumpy descent usually is the wind isn't too strong it's been up here when it's been gale force and that wasn't fun that wind is nice we've got a bit of sunlight cascading down the valley there which is very nice indeed and i've got to say the the breeze is bringing with it a nice cooling effect on my very, very sweaty body. But for now, this eyes down. Yeah, that drop there is quite nasty because you can't see whether to go left or right. 
think left was the safest choice. Was, uh, I'm sure right has got a little uh, knobbly little root sticking out of it, which can catch your wheel. Uh, Yeah, for the scent, that is very visible. It's getting more and more visible with age as it's wearing away, revealing all this chunky rock. I wonder if that other section, tinner pan, that runs parallel to this one, but further up is in better shape. Ooh. And this is very wet here. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yes. That's it. That is the mountain bike loop. Oh, gut wrenching at the end. Trying to stay on the bike. Very physical through the legs and arms. Yeah, difficult to get your speed up. Clean. Look at that. So yeah, the distance in all, 37.83 kilometers. I'm in the car, about to go home. Uh, really good ride. Couple of thoughts, uh, definitely pop into the shop, go into Avan Valley Bike Shed, go and see Ben and his team, and they will direct you to the best loop to ride from this center. Reason why you should ride from this center and not up at Bryn Bettis Lodge? Parking, cheap parking. Um, I think I paid like three quid for all day. Uh, you've got toilets, showers, um, obviously Avon Valley bike shed in itself. Uh, and it's just a good base, you know, it's riding from here. Um, there's also a cafe over there as well. Um, and it's good to get that local knowledge. By the time after getting onto the gravel at Abercraggan to get onto the first climb of the wall, I'd already done about 11 kilometers. So from here, just, just be prepared. You're gonna have to put some pedal in there. Um, better if you're on an e-bike, but if you're on a manual bike like me with draggy tires, um, just be prepared. For 